How cool is this? The suspension is, this? is just so much more compliant now. I will get a punch it as we come out of this corner up that hill. Oh, oh goodness me. Oh, that is rapido, isn't it? We all hate it when our favorite TV shows end without warning or worse still, without any explanation from the show's producers. With 300 episodes and 19 seasons, Wheeler Dealers has yet to be cancelled, but we hope it doesn't fall to the wayside like many other shows that came before it. The show was originally hosted by Mike Brewer with Ed China as his show's mechanic until he abruptly left in 2017. Ed and Mike's on-screen banter and chemistry helped Wheeler Dealers become what it was during its golden years. Upon Ed's departure, he was replaced by Aunt Anstead instead, who also decided to step down from the show when it resumed filming in the UK after filming in the US for half a decade. Since Anstead's departure, Mark Elvis Priestley has taken over as the mechanic and Mike Brewer's co-host, contributing to the show's recent success. Join us as we roll back the currents on Mark Priestley's journey in life. I've had my own sleepless nights, but look at that. Yes. It's fixed and back in. And I'll tell you what, we have spent a huge amount of money, but that is now one of the strongest Porsche engines you will find anywhere. Wheeler Dealers is a British TV series produced by Attaboy TV for the Discovery Channel in the UK and Motor Trend in the US. For the first 13 seasons, we saw Mike Brewer and Ed China as host and co-host slash mechanic, respectively. The two represented the golden age of the show, and they took it to the present popularity that it has right now. Despite the changes that have befallen the show's small cast, the premise remained unchanged even when the filming location changed. The host would go on a mission to save old but repairable enthusiast vehicles. This relatively simple format was the creation of Daniel Allen and Michael Wood, longtime car enthusiasts and the founding directors of Attaboy TV. Ed and Mike scoured Europe for the right cars to buy from Series 1 to the first of Series 8. With the start of Part 2 of Series 8, Ed and Mike turned their attention to the United States. By Series 12, the duo set up a workshop in a rented bay at Huntington Beach Body Works in California. This was so they could deliver more episodes of the show and sell the cars they were stored on the spot instead of shipping them back to the UK. Wheeler Dealers was so successful that in April 2013, a spinoff was launched off its success. The spinoff was titled Trading Up. It was produced by a different production company, X2 Productions LTD, and it featured only Mike Brewer traveling around the world to buy and sell, but not to repair or restore used cars in different countries, all on a set budget. In 2020, Wheeler Dealers yet again produced another spinoff series titled Wheeler Dealers Dream Cars. This featured Mike Brewer with Mark Elvis Priestley as his mechanic, lending their expertise to add value to clients' cars and help them trade up to their dream vehicle. Mark Priestley would be the third mechanic on the show. When Ed China abruptly left, Mark was considered for the role instead of Anstead, but wasn't hired. When Anstead left, Mark joined the show in its 17th season. So who's Mark Elvis Priestley? Mark was born in October 1976 in Bromley, England. He studied at Dartford Grammar School before attending Kent College and graduating with a motor vehicle engineering specialization in 1995. Mark wasn't named Elvis at birth. He got the nickname from his time in college because his surname sounds close to that of Elvis Presley. Mark was also destined for great things, but had nothing to do with music. Right after he got his specialization from Kent, Mark started looking for automotive jobs. He was employed by several London-based motorsports companies, working with Caterham 7 cars. Mark eventually became the lead mechanic on his team's GT3 sports car, after which he moved into single-seater racing with Lanon Racing's Formula Ford project. However, the real highlight of Mark's career came in 1999, when he was hired as the main mechanic for the speed sports team in Formula 3. At the same time, he was also hired as the senior mechanic for Orbit Motorsport Formula 3000. This job paved Mark's way to greatness, and he soon built up a portfolio good enough to be considered for a job in McLaren's F1 team. Mark's role in the McLaren began as a test team mechanic, but he quickly rose through the ranks. By 2001, Mark had already become a team member two mechanic. At the 2002 Australian Grand Prix, Mark was in charge of changing the race car's front wing at the first race weekend. From working as a second choice mechanic for Kimi Raikkonen, Mark soon rose to become the first choice mechanic for McLaren's T car. By 2007, Mark was already the team chief of McLaren's number one F1 team. As team chief, Mark was a liaison between both sides of the McLaren garage in the aftermath of a tense 2007 season between top racers Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton. 
Mark and his team's hard work paid off as the team won the World Drivers' Championship with Hamilton at the 2008 Brazilian Grand Prix. In 2009, Mark became McLaren's team coordinator and project leader, but he eventually left McLaren to work with Motorsport Vision. Working with an F1 team like McLaren is a dream come true for anyone, but the longer Mark worked for McLaren, the further he strayed from mechanical roles to more management-driven positions. In an interview with Grand Prix 247 in 2012, Mark expressed that it's very easy to get immersed in the Formula 1 bubble, a fast-paced world of pretentiousness and fairy tale finances, and lose touch with reality, driven by a need to take care of his family and explore new career opportunities. Mark left Formula One and began walking a path of his own in the world of the automotive-related entertainment industry. However, Mark didn't entirely walk away from motorsports. Instead, he slowly transitioned to the media aspect of the sport. He started blogging and decided to pursue a media career fully after establishing his online presence as a blogger. Mark wrote about motorsport for several magazines and websites along with his blog. He also provided Grand Prix previews and analysis for other international radio networks like TalkSport Radio. After a producer read one of Mark's stories, he was asked to join Jenny Gao as a pit lane reporter for BBC Radio 5 Live during the 2012 British Grand Prix. Mark began appearing as a guest on Sky Sports News, Sky Sports F1 Channel Show, and the F1 Show while continuing to write for various auto journals and websites. Mark then negotiated an agreement with CNBC to present the technical side of an F1-based series called One Second in F1 Racing, in which he discusses all aspects of Formula One, including aerodynamics, pit stops, electronics, and tires. That same year, Mark teamed up with Jenny Gal to front the new FIA Formula E series, which was shown live on ITV4. In 2015, Mark filmed a six-part docu-series called Driving Wild, in which he investigated several unconventional motorsports from around the world. The following year, the series was broadcast on the Discovery Channel. Mark built a career as a bona fide mechanic with TV experience, so when Wheeler Dealers lost its mechanic for the second time, the producers came calling. Mark Priestley's understanding of motorsports drove him to find his path in the media. It was also an attribute that made him and Ansett's perfect replacement. With a decade of experience as a mechanic and a lengthy career as a writer and journalist, there was a lot of pressure on Mark to help carry the show after Ansett's exit. Ed China had been a fan favorite on Wheeler Dealers for years, and after his departure, the show's producers have tried to find someone who would not only be the right fit, but also compliment Mike while bringing their expertise to the series. Mark Priestley is no Ed China, but his writing skills and history with Formula One made him a fascinating character to the viewers. Wheeler Dealers is still on, and Mark Priestley still works and appears on screen as a show's mechanic. He also appears in a new series, a spin-off that feeds off the success of Wheeler Dealers. The spin-off is titled Dream Car, and it premiered in 2020. The concept of this new show is quite similar to that of Wheeler Dealers, but instead of finding a random automobile, remodeling it, and profiting from it, Dream Car focused on making people's dreams of owning their ideal car a reality. First, Mike and Elvis identify a person whose automobile is in terrible condition and work with them to fix it aesthetically and mechanically before finding creative methods to sell it for a profit. The next stage was to use that money to buy another car that matched that person's vision of a dream car while paying attention to the owner's personal stories and motives. Fans of Wheeler Dealers weren't initially excited about the series since they found out Ann Anstead wouldn't be in it. However, Mark has made sure that Ansett's absence isn't even noticed, and Dream Car, like Wheeler Dealers, has been well received by the fans. Aside from being a TV personality, mechanic, and journalist, Mark is many different things. According to his ex bio, he's also an author, speaker, and consultant. Mark published his debut book, The Mechanic, The Secret Road of the F1 Pit Lane, in 2017, discussing the mysteries and dramas behind the scenes of F1. He also has a YouTube channel with over 70 thousand subscribers and over 12 million views. Since 2013, Mark has been privately married to Claire, an interior designer who specializes in upholstery and antiques. They have two girls, whom he praised on Instagram for International Women's Day, and two boys. Claire and Mark work hard to keep their children out of the spotlight. So far, their hard work is paying off, since their children's names and birthdays remain unknown to the general public.